Hey everybody, I'm back to give an update on my Tamiya Grasshopper. I finished building it, and here are my thoughts. So a little background, I I had this, the original Grasshopper back in the mid 80s as a, as a kid, probably 10, 11 years old. Um, and of course, being your first RC car, I loved it. So when I saw this a few years ago, I thought I'd have to have it. Um, I haven't had a Tamiya product in a very long time, but I thought just for the nostalgic value, I would pick it up. Um, so I put this together about a month ago, but I ha took a little bit more time to get the right kind of paint to, and primer to, to prep the body so I could really do a decent job on it. And it came out okay. It came out pretty good. So what did I think about this this kit? Well, not very good. Um, of course, compared to any modern RC kit, this is pretty much archaic. The materials, the uh, the, the build, uh, just the build sequence and just the way things are put together. You know, the bumper is just, you know, three screws on the bottom of the, uh, uh, the chassis. It's just isn't. Up to, up to today's standards. Was it fun? Not really. Um, I had a really, really hard time with the rear tires. Uh, there is actually videos on how to wrestle your wheel into into the tire. That's about how bad it is. Um, the good thing about this kit, it does come with the motor and it does come with the ESC. I didn't use the one that came with the kit. I threw in a uh, uh, just an old 1060 in there to make sure it runs. Um, I haven't even driven this on carpet. I'm not gonna be taking this outside. It's just gonna go right on my shelf. Uh, so, the one bright spot about this kit are the decals. They're printed very precisely. They're very bright, as you can see. And they're very, very forgivable. I was stretching these, I was twisting it, I was unpeeling it, and it still looks great after. I think I did an okay job. Putting it on, it looks great. It makes the car really look great. I do recommend that you spend the time to paint it the racing white that it recommends. Um, it's a TS paint. If you if you if you're already in RC and you have some uh, polycarbonate paint uh, laying around, I I wouldn't use that. I would go out and get the paint to me uh, rattle can paints for plastic, and with the primer, um, it really came out great. You can tell the difference. Um, this is the color of the uh, the kit plastic when it first arrived. As you can see, it's kind of an off-white. And this is the racing white that they recommend painting. I believe it's TS-26. Uh, I could be wrong. But it looks super sharp. I love it. I didn't love the build, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, putting this on the ground outside and uh, bashing this. This is going straight on my shelf. So what I recommend you buy this, if you are a middle-aged man like me and you had this when you were a kid and you just want it for the pure nostalgic value, I say go for it at $140, $150 out there. It's a good value for that. It's a moment, you know, it's something from your past, something that reminds you of your childhood. It's almost priceless. Um, if you're a young person getting into RC, I wouldn't recommend buying this. You're going to spend a day or two putting this together, making it look nice, and you take it outside and it's going to feel slow to you. And if you break something, you it's going to be hard to find uh, replacement parts. And if you try to go brushless or anything else, you're probably just going to break it even faster. There are probably a lot better um, kits out there, or that's going to be a little bit pricier. But I'm sure there's other options for you that are going to be better than this Tamiya Grasshopper kit. Um, I still have to finish, do this, do something similar to the Wild Millie 2. Um, that'll probably be a video coming up soon. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments about this uh, Tamiya Grasshopper, please leave it below. Thanks for watching my video. Bye-bye.